Hi, cubbies. Let's see if Cubby Bear will come out and say hello. Ready? One, two, three, Cubby. Lovey, lovey. What's lovey? wrong, Cubby? I'm looking for Lovey. I want to hear more about her day at Lamb's Meadow. Have you seen her, boys and girls? Not tonight, Cubby. Hmm. I'm going to go look for her in the petting zoo again. Lovey. Oh, Lovey. Here I am. Was somebody calling me? Oh, there you are, Lovey. Cubby Bear has been looking all over for you. He thought you were lost. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I was lost, but then I was found. Really, Lovey? What happened? Well, yesterday I went with the other sheep to Lamb's Meadow. We ate lots of grass and played fun games, and then I took a long nap. When I woke up, I noticed a beautiful flower. I stopped to smell that flower, and then... The next flower and the next flower. There were so many beautiful flowers, and each one smelled so pretty. But soon I looked up and I realized that I was far, far away from Lamb's Meadow. Smell the flower for boys and girls? Oh no, were you scared? I was really scared. I looked one way. And then I looked the other way. I couldn't see anyone and I began to cry. What happened next, lovey? Woof, 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 woof. I noticed, I noticed that lovey was missing from Lamb's Meadow, so I went to look for her. At first, I couldn't find lovey anywhere. But I didn't give up. I lifted my ears and lifted Listened carefully. Soon I heard ba ba from far away, and I knew that it was Lovey in the apple orchard between some apple trees. I'm so glad that Katie came and found me. I was alone and scared. I'm glad too. Did you learn a lesson yesterday, Lovey? I sure did. I should have obeyed Timothy's dad and not wandered from the rest of the sheep. <laughs> and I'm sure glad Katie Collie is such a smart sheepdog. Me too, lovey. Well, you had better go and find Cubby Bear. He will want to know if you are safe. Boys and girls, can you say goodbye to Katie and lovey? Bye. Goodbye. Poor lovey lamb. I am sad that she was lost, but I am also glad that Katie Collie was able to find her. That reminds me of a story Jesus told in the Bible about another sheep who was lost. This is Luke 15, verse 3 through 7. One day Jesus was walking to some men who didn't understand who he was. To help them understand, Jesus told a story about a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. The shepherd loved his sheep. He took good care of them. Each night the shepherd counted his sheep as they walked into the sheepfold. One, two, three, four. He counted. He kept on counting until he reached the last sheep. 97, 98, 99. Oh no, one of the sheep was missing. The shepherd was worried. Even though there were 99 sheep who were safe in the fold, he wanted to find the one who he wanted to find the one missing sheep. Each sheep was very special to him. Off he went looking for his lost sheep. He called out for his sheep. He looked everywhere for his sheep. He looked high up on the mountains. He looked low in the grassy meadows. He looked behind rocks and trees. Can you find the lamb? There it is. Cubbies, how do you think this sheep got lost from the other sheep and shepherd? Jesus didn't tell us how the sheep got lost, 
but usually sheep get lost when they wander off and they go where they want to go rather than following the shepherd. This is dangerous for the sheep. Its leg might get caught in a bush with the sharp thorns like this one. Then the shepherd would have to gently pull it out. Finally, the shepherd found his sheep. If the sheep's leg was scratched, the shepherd would put oil or medicine on its sores. Then the strong shepherd carried his sheep home on his shoulders. Do you see the big smile on his face? He was so happy that his lost sheep was found. He had a big party with all his friends. Cubbies, Jesus told this story to help the people understand who he was. Jesus wanted him to know that he is like the good shepherd who loves all of his sheep, even the ones that are lost. This card says, Jesus is the good shepherd. Can you say that with me? Jesus is the good shepherd. Like a sheep loves the one lost sheep, Jesus loves each one of us. Cubbies, do you remember how that sheep got lost because it didn't know what it wanted to do instead of listening to the shepherd? We are like that too. We all sin and do what we want to do instead of what God tells us to do in the Bible. In Isaiah 53 verse 6, the Bible says, All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. Let me say that again. Isaiah 53 verse 6. The Bible says, All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. To go astray means that we sin and we do what we want to do instead of obeying Jesus. Do you remember what a sin is? A sin is anything we can think, we can say, or we do that disobeys God. Can you think of a sin that someone might do? Disobeying your parents, get angry or hitting your brother or sister. I'm so glad that Jesus loves us even though we sin. He came to earth to save us from our sin, sins by dying on the cross and coming alive again. When you trust Jesus as your savior, Jesus helps you learn to follow him. What are some ways you can follow Jesus, the Good Shepherd? Listen to the Bible, learn Cubby's verses, attend Awana, and be kind to others. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us even though we sin. We pray that we will obey the Good Shepherd. Amen.